What's up guys, welcome back. Today, we're gonna be working on the 60. If you saw the last episode, you saw that we just picked this up pretty locally. I wound up trading some parts that weren't gonna be used and a little bit of cash for it. It's a pretty original car. I was told it was original paint and in the pictures you couldn't really tell, but as soon as we got to pick the car up, it was obvious. The paint code is still under the hood, which is, L440, which amounts to flint gray. And I was gonna leave the car the beige color and just kinda polish it up until I started looking at pictures of the color and I fell in love with it. So late night last night around midnight, laying in bed, I just hopped up and started trying to see if it was still under there. And I checked a couple of panels and it is still under there. So what we're gonna do is try to get some of that original paint out the best we can. Um, I think it's actually gonna come out pretty well. It wasn't really even that hard to get to it. All I did was do some acetone and some quad zero Brillo pad pretty much. I have the deck lid off. I'm gonna set you guys up on a time lapse and see how we do. This is about an hour and a half worth of work with the Pope's nose, but you could see that the paint was faded on the deck lid before, or they sanded it a little bit before they sprayed it. But you know, this is not polished or anything. And you could just see the light reflecting off of it. I think this car is gonna be something special. This color is supposedly pretty rare from the research I've been doing. Um, I think it's a 60 only color and the original interior is the water blue, which is under the seat covers that were in it. Only the outside was painted. So all of this is still original paint and it's got a real cool look to it. All patina. All the fenders and everything are original on this car except for this one. So I'm not really quite sure if anyone out there has a flint gray driver's side front fender, I'm in search of one. If not, I might just rust it and the car will be, you know, all the original paint and that one will be kind of rusty until one day we come across the, the proper fender. But first we have hours and hours and hours of work to do. But it's about midnight here, so I'm gonna get to bed and we'll pick this back up tomorrow. So day two on trying to remove this paint. I'm well aware that you can't make a 10 minute 15 minute video of just scrubbing little bits at a time on time lapse. So I won't be doing it the whole video. This is the progress we've made on the hood. I just get a little bored and I just start hopping around. This stuff you probably saw in the earlier clips. I did the semaphore and started on the B panel. I haven't really come across too much Bondo, which I think I am going to in the rear fenders. Um, what we're gonna work on towards the end of this video is this door over here. This bottom hinge is locked up and I guess it was at a junkyard at one point and they kind of just ripped the door open. So the skin is separated. I've tried heat, all sorts of oils and penetrating oils and I can't loosen this hinge up. So I think I'm gonna just cut it on the car side because I can't get to the two, two screws because the hinge is half closed. 
And I think that's what we'll work on tomorrow. We'll get this door off. We'll get the door frame all straightened up and welded up and get the door skin kind of back in place. The paint removal is something you want to see. I'm definitely going to be sprinkling it in there in the videos here and there for every video we do on this car because it is going to be a very time consuming deal. It's probably going to take a month or so to do. Let me know. I can put more in there. I can make videos of just progress. Let me know. It helps little channels like this to uh, get some traction if you leave comments anyway. So help me out. Um, we are going to be taking the glass out of this thing and the body off to do the pans and some heater channel work. But that's after we get Paul's car done, which is coming along nicely. All the metal work is done on this. The pan is here. He just got some tires. We pretty much just have to seal the pan up and bleed the brakes. And then we'll be dropping the body back on. This car is going to be, be what it is for now because he's got some bigger projects in the future, which you'll be seeing very soon. So we'll pick this up tomorrow. We'll get that door off. Welcome back to day three of this video. Um, as you can tell, we opted to cut the door hinge. The reason I did that is because we're gonna wind up replacing this A pillar. As you can tell, it's a little crunchy. We're gonna cut it here and replace from here down when we do the heater channels. You know, as much as I wanted to save it, it's just, it was too far gone. That pin was completely seized. I tried for days to get it off. So now we'll get this out and then when we get the the A pillars and the heater channels will take care of this section. What's on the agenda is trying to repair the bottom of this door, which the structure has been torn and the skin has come free from it. I have other doors out there. I'm not sure how they match up in any way, but we'll cut what we need to, weld what we need to, try to get that door straightened out, get new hinges on it. The priority is to save that original paint door. This whole bottom inside door is just rotted and compromised. The door I have outside is a 66, but it's a passenger side. Clearly we need a driver's side. I call my buddy Paul and from the 59, he has a leftover inner door replacement panel sitting on the shelf. So he's bringing that over, which is, you know, how things work out sometimes, which is great. I tried to save the door panel, but it was completely petrified, just kind of crumbling away. We'll just get new door panels for this thing when it's all said and done. But the door skin's in decent shape. I think I'll be able to save it. We'll just cut kinda, I think he said it's about five inches. So we'll probably just cut what we need to about to here. Put new hinge on, replace this bottom, pull this skin back up and just tack it and uh, door will be repaired. So we got a lot of the rusty support cut out. I'm just kind of dialing it in. I still have this little piece I'm trying to get out without ruining the door skin. There's a spot weld here. We're going to drill that out and hopefully get this whole piece out. And then we'll trim up back here and then we'll start fitting it. support out. I just have to cut this small piece here, which is kind of a pain because we're separating it. If you saw in the time lapse, we drilled out some spot welds. We're separating it from the skin and trying to cut out the support without 
damaging the skin. We just have this one last cut, then we'll have to trim down the patch panel and trim down this side. And then we should be able to fit it, do a little hammering and rust treatment on the inside of this skin. Cause you know how we do here, we're not restoring these cars, we're getting them back on the road and looking as cool as possible. So we got everything trimmed up. This side is pretty good. I'm kind of working from here this way. This door is so bent up and obviously the, the patch panel isn't perfect, but you know, once this is clamped and welded, that'll be good. This one's starting to, to line up pretty well. This side's still a little off. This whole pillar is a little bent. So I'm gonna have to trim this more and bend and hammer, but we're getting there. As you can see the skin too. You know, this is gonna be like that. And we're gonna try to tack all that in so that it looks like a door again. But for tonight, since it's getting late, I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna rush treat all this stuff, leave it overnight and uh, come back tomorrow. We'll finish trimming and weld. This stuff is super thin and rusty, but I'm trying to save as much of the original as possible. So it's blowing through a little bit, but we're getting by. Nothing a grinder can't fix. So this side's done. Next, I'm gonna start drilling holes in the skin and just tack welding it to the bottom. And that's gonna give us our shape. Um, I have to finish welding this. And then over here, I've been working on it. I have a bit of a gap here, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. We'll get that all drilled out, get the skin, then we can flip it over and see uh, if it looks any better. I'm actually really happy with the way that came out. I still have some welding to do. I just wanted to fit it up. If you remember, there was a gap here when we started. This I'm not too worried about. I'll hammer it out a little bit. I have to finish welding this side. Um, I ordered a hinge, so I'm waiting for that to come. I don't want to weld anything up until the hinge is in, just to make sure everything is uh, where it needs to be. But definitely a lot better than how we started and wasn't too much work. We'll get it bolted up when the hinge comes in and uh, go from there. We're continuing on the paint removal. I've gotten this much done on the hood, started fenders, just hopping around. The deck lid is almost halfway done. So the hinge came in along with uh, the rivet replacement bolts. If you haven't seen these, these are great. So you don't have to rivet the hinge in, you can just bolt it in, obviously. I'm gonna get that bolted up, test fit it before I finish all the welding. Um, we just wanna make sure that the hinge is in the right spot and everything lines up before we obviously full weld this thing. So that's what I'm doing now, and then we'll get it bolted. tell by the time lapse it did give me hell we're gonna get it fitted up on the car i just have to drill out one of the the old hinge screws make sure everything fits right and then we'll finish welding it up job complete i'm gonna get this door put in get a couple of screws in it to hold it in place and see if it lines up on with the new hinge the a pillar is in pretty rough shape so we just have it like mocked up there with one bolt um, we have new a pillars and new heater channels coming in the next couple weeks so we'll get on that uh, we started more 
on the hood here and on the door as far as stripping the paint this color is just gonna just be so cool um, but I think that's gonna be it for this video I appreciate you guys watching I know it's been a while since we we posted but we're back and we're excited to be making videos we have a big video coming up soon me and Paul are heading to Miami to uh, pick up a couple of cars that I think you'll be excited to see I know I am like this video if you like this video and hit that subscribe button it really helps the channel out but until next time we'll see you later